have to be willing to constantly push yourself to do better, constantly push yourself to do more. And, and that's at the end of the day is, is how you will uh, succeed. You have your goals as a never ending journey. And once you achieve the goals, you, there's another mountain and another goal. How do you stop to appreciate the moment uh, and appreciate what you just achieved without getting complacent? Yeah, it's, it's an important question, especially for high achievers. Those that are constantly, you know, what's next, what's next, more, more, more. I think it's, it is important to celebrate the wins along the way. Um, and celebrate has a million different definitions, and I think that's personal to each individual. Um, but I think the overarching uh, idea is just gratitude always. So not just waiting until the win or waiting to accomplish the goal to be grateful, but to be grateful throughout the process and enjoying the process. I think, you know, if you look at the example you just said, like the mountaintop, if you look at climbing a mountain and the growth that happens, the, the lessons learned in the climbing, there's so much to be grateful for before you ever reach the top. And so once you reach the top and say, yeah, I've, I've accomplished what I set out to accomplish. I, I hit that goal. What's next? You know, taking some time to be able to enjoy the fact that you just did what you, you know, ultimately wanted to do. But if you're grateful throughout the process, you don't have to take as much time as you would if you're just kind of head down, trucking along, okay, finally did it, now I can rest for a second, now I'll put my head back down. I think it really has to do with enjoying the process and being grateful uh, throughout the journey. Uh, because even in the most difficult of times, even in, in, in the struggles along the way, we still have so much to be grateful for. And I think that not allowing ourselves, ourselves to be grateful through the process uh, can cause more of the complacency once we actually get there. And so once you reach that mountaintop, not staying there for days and weeks and months, but staying there for a brief moment of time before going after the next thing because you know that you're gonna enjoy the process of the next thing, that you're gonna enjoy the climb of the next mountain because you know that there's gonna be more lessons to learn, more growth um, to have happen throughout the process of whatever that next goal is for you. Uh, so I think that's that to me is most important is for people to just be aware of how much they have to be grateful for, um, even in the worst of times. Like, you know, here in America, like we all have just this incredibly skewed idea of, of like gratitude. You know, the fact that you have a house to live in, you have food to eat, like things like that. Like, like go to a third world country for a week and then come back and see if you're a little bit more grateful. Um, through the struggle of trying to reach your goal, you know. Um, so I think that's that's important. Um, but to to your point, you should celebrate the wins, and you should take time to you know reflect on all the work that you just put in to get to the goal. Uh, because if not, then what was it all for? Um, so I think you know that may be a little bit of a kind of roundabout uh, answer, but I think it's taking some time. But the purpose of not taking too much time. Uh, comes in the gratitude along the way.